What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. So today we're going to be talking about a subject that uh, many of you have requested that I talk about and that's how to keep her as interested in you, interested and invested, as you are in interested and invested to her. Okay, so uh, we want to make sure that the girls that we're talking to, that we're into, are interested in us. Okay, so let's say you're dating a girl or maybe you just started seeing a girl. How do you make sure that this person is going to be into you? Uh, or at least just as interested in you as you are into them. So I'm gonna be talking about um, how to do this and then I'm also gonna be talking about how to do it with in like a short-term scenario and like a long-term relationship, okay? Uh, how do you keep things going and how do you make sure she's really invested in you? So the first thing that I'm gonna talk about before I get into this is the product that I'm coming out with. Um, obviously, you guys have seen in a couple of videos that I've talked about this, but um, if you wanna get notified about it, wanna know when it's coming out, then sign up below, there's a link, click on the link, fill it out, and then you'll also be in part of the actual creation process of it. You know, I'm looking for more topics to cover. Um, so whatever people put there, um, I will do. Okay. Thanks a lot, you guys. So first of all, we're going to be covering the question that I got. So how do you get her as invested as you are? Well, I think the way that this question is asked is, um, you know, you can tell that this guy hasn't, doesn't have a whole lot of experience. If you are trying to get her as invested as you are, like trying to play this do -si do game, it's not like I, I need to do these things and she's gonna be more invested in me. It's more of kind of a way that you live your life. And the way that I live my life is I go about doing the things that I wanna do and I invite people in and the people that stay or the people that I end up dating or the people that I end up uh, sleeping with. Now, this is something that a lot of guys, when they first start out, they, they don't really get. Uh, typically, the girls that they are interested in aren't as interested in them as they are in, in, into the girl. So if you are in this position, you find yourself this happening to you a lot, try to change things up a little bit. Lead more and see who's following you. Typically, if you're chasing a girl and you're trying to get her interested in you, yeah, sure, a lot of times you can get the date. And I do recommend pursuing a woman, but you're pursuing her in a way where you're inviting her to come be a part of, you know, like, yeah, you imagine yourself as the captain of a ship. You're the captain and you're inviting her to come on board and you continually do this again and again. You can get a bigger boat, you can get all sorts of different stuff, but at the end of the day, you're steering the ship. But if you start breaking your back, try and do what she wants to do a lot of the time and a little bit of negotiation is fine. Like that's okay, that's normal. You should be doing that in a relationship. Uh, but once you start following her around, she does not want you to follow her. She wants to follow you. And so whenever I get into a relationship, I know that the woman is really, really invested in it because she's already demonstrated that with her actions. Now, typically if you meet a girl and she's not following you that much and she kind of, like if you make a suggestion for, hey, let's go uh, get lunch at this place. She's like, oh, I don't like eating there. Let's eat somewhere else. You know, sometimes you can get a little bit of that, but if you're getting that again and again where she's always wanting to do what she wants to do and come, you're doing, you're doing what her plan is, typically that's not the man to woman connection. The man to woman connection is the man leads and the woman follows. So if you're falling into that trap, you're probably not gonna get very many women invested in you. Okay, so that's one thing. Now the other thing too is that you wanna qualify the girl a little more. Now what do I mean by qualification in these terms and stuff? Basically you just, you, you, will, you take a step back and let her come to you. If you're constantly the one who's pushing for it, who's you know asking her questions and you're never giving her the opportunity to actually like try and justify herself to you, then she'll never do it. And she's a, you're kind of in that chasing frame all the time and it's really, really frustrating to be in. Uh, so one of the things that I'll do is I'll, you know, if I'm talking to a girl for a little bit, I'll be like, well, so tell me more about yourself. What do you like to do for fun? Putting it, her in that frame, now she's trying to, uh, I'm not going to say impress, um, but kind of. You know, typically when two people meet and they're in this position, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to see if each other's right for the others. And so you try to show your best self. So a lot of times, you know, if, even if they don't have any hobbies or anything like that, a lot of times the girl will make stuff up if she's really interested in me. Uh, so doing more of those kinds of things is going to get her more invested in you. Now, once you've gotten the girl and you're kind of seeing her for a little bit, how do you make sure that she's just as invested as she was at the beginning? Okay. Don't change your behavior. If whatever you did won her over, if you keep acting like that, she's gonna still be invested in you. She's still gonna really like you. Uh, the big problem that a lot of guys have is once they meet a girl um, and they've slept with her maybe a few times, they feel like they can just coast. They feel like they can just you know not text her as you know anymore. They feel like they can just freaking get do whatever they want. 
That's not true, okay? Eventually, even if she's really, really into you, she's gonna catch on. Now, there's a certain small segment of the population of women that enjoy the abuse, enjoy it when a guy is, they don't really enjoy it, but they're kind of addicted to those types of guys. These are not girls that you wanna hook up with or date, okay? So if you're in this category, um, the only girls that are gonna be available for you are the girls that you don't want. Okay, so if you're in this position where you wanna get a girl more invested in you and you're constantly wondering why am I, do I like the girls more than they like me, change it around, see if you can get a girl to follow you. That girl is gonna be really, really into you. Once I learned this, it took off such a load from my chest. Basically, it was telling me that I needed to step up. I needed to put myself first, invest in myself, make myself the best version of who I am, express that to a whole lot of people, and figure out which people are gonna jump on board my ship. Now, I am very, very uh, proactive. I take a lot of action, but I take the right kinds of action where instead of me chasing, like be put, being in chase mode for like a thousand different women, I'm in leader mode for like, a few. And I know those girls for a fact are super into me. I know they're just as invested as I am, sometimes more. And uh, I rarely run into this problem ever again. So that's what I invite you guys to do. Cool. So uh, that's the end of the video, you guys. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week. Like I said, I have uh, some couple spots open in my one-on-one -on -one coaching program. So if you want to get uh, learn more about that, there's a link in the description below. Click on the link. We'll get back to you. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.